Hi guys, Ashantin here, how are you? My jet lag is gradually going, so I'm feeling better and better. And what's more, I am returning to remembering how to play Lost in the woods. Sorry, Life in the Woods. I'm so used to playing on the Lost server, but this is my own private Life in the Woods world. I want to show you what I've done uh, to extend my house. I have put a new wing on it, which I thought you might like to see. And if you remember, or if you saw the video, I have been rooting through the fungi forest. I came up with an amazing collection of fungi. Now I found out that these two, which are the traditional fungi, um, are light sensitive, but the others aren't. And I decided I would build somewhere to show them off, because they are so pretty. Um, the building is in the cherry forest. So therefore it's got this very, very nice pale bluey green grass. And in England, when we wanted to grow citrus trees, orange, lemon, lime, we used to have things called oranges. And this is very much the way that they were put together. You would have put, of course, an orange tree in front of the light. And they were to give a lot of light, but also a lot of protection to the plants. And it seemed to me that this is rather a nice natural way of showing off the fungi here. Now out at the back is quite interesting because that goes into the beginnings of a ravine and you may wonder why it is uneven. Well the answer is that it's only uneven at the moment. Um, if we come over here um, you can see that it's coming out by two but I'm thinking of extending on this side because I did have a mushroom farm here. But I think I'm going to extend on this side the same. Ooh, it's going dark. Ooh, we'll have all the goosies and the gowlies and the long-legged beasties. So let's just quickly go to sleep. And I must say it looks a lot better in here. Can you see guys? And the reason for that is that when I moved the mushroom collection out here, it occurred to me that, again, if I made it five wide, another reason for going five wide, I could get my enchanting room in here. Now this is only going up to about 14. And I think this, the way I've got the books laid out, it's not happy. I think it wants the other two here to go up to the full 30. So I think I will alter that. Does anybody know whether having these bookcases chiseled makes any difference to this enchanting table because I don't have a bookcase in the corner because I didn't think the it would get out to here and I'm slightly worried as to whether I do need a bookcase in the corner even with nothing on top of it and I'm slightly worried as to whether these chiseled bookcases they do work with it I think it's just the layout Anyway, I'm going to alter that, but putting the anvil at this end with uh, chests in this too wide bit is going to work just beautifully. So this is, I think, a very nice addition. I would because it's mine. <laughs> so that's a new wing on the house. Oh gosh. And coming out here, you can see that it actually fits rather well with it. Um, the roof looks a complete mess. But if I put a similar wing on the other side, and then up here, I've used the outside to show off my collection of hanging plants. And if I get more, I can put a double layer. And that would make it a truly wonderful conservative look. I like seeing the books through the bookcases too. Uh, sorry, through the windows. I like seeing the bookcases through the windows. This is going to be a little garden. I haven't decided what will be here yet. What might be nice is a little pond there, actually, with some very beautiful, um, I was going to say weeds, but that's not quite the word I'm looking for. So all in all, and you can see since I've been back here, my crops are absolutely sort of going like crazy. And round here, I've been planting all the fruit trees I collected. Um, I've also moved these up because they were very cramped around here. 
and I'm clearing out this, I'm going to, as you can see, we've extended the house that way. I haven't decided on the roof yet. And I'm going to, I think, extend it this way as well. I'll move a few of the cherry trees back and we may make this ravine area. That's my marker for where home is. Um, part of the whole situation. I'll have to think about that, but there's no reason why, oh, I've got colder. There's no reason why not. So around here, all, all the nice fruit trees are, you have grown and I haven't got any oak wood on me. What are you? Oh, here we are. Cherry. Oh, that's going to look spectacular there. Yep, we'll take that one out at the bottom. And I do need to find a jungle, guys, don't I? Obviously, the orchard will, you know, take over this bit. And we're doing quite well at the moment. This is Lily of the Valley. Don't walk into it, it will poison you. To you too, little pig. So I'm gradually expanding. You remember we collected these that are looking absolutely beautiful, as are the little white things. These um, duck potatoes are really, really pretty. We'll have to keep our eyes open for some of those. We really will. And more paths been laid. All the stuff I took up um, when I was building the roads has been reutilised. And look, I've still got masses of ferns here. I'm very careful to take them up with shears. Yeah, my bamboo farms are looking spectacular, as are the cane farms. Sugar cane doesn't grow quickly in this world, but mine is growing all right. I think I've got so much of it, it grows all right anyway. So all this, I think, is looking pretty good. I have utilised the lily pads to help farming be easier. And under there, my mob farm is going well. I'd forgotten that I was doing an arboretum over here. And I need to get an autumn, I've got an autumn maple actually, but I've got a mango and I need to have a look at that. That whole area out on the end there, the spruce trees are very nice, but they are boring. And if you have a look at, um, excuse me one minute, <coughs> and here my mob farm going, this willow tree is so beautiful. I'm very, very tempted to start putting a few willow trees over there and then a very tall pine to sort of mark the edge of the territory. The cherry woods are, of course, just gorgeous, but I wouldn't mind some jacarandas in amongst them. Oh, that is annoying, isn't it? But never mind. It does the job. Harvest time is upon us. I've got even more hanging plants down here. I wonder if I should leave this. I think they're quite pretty there. I don't think I've got any around the other side. This is my little fishing area. I feel very Japanese here with the cherry orchards and the cherry wood. No, we haven't got any more hanging baskets around there. I clearly need to go and raid some more um, villages. I'm going to leave these trees here. and I've got some very nice collections of orchids, tree orchids. Yeah, this is where the other extension will come out. It will come out here. I think that's fine. We'll leave that tree there, take that one down and build it out here. I think that will work quite well. And it's all looking unbelievably sort of lush and pretty and nice, apart from the roof, but what can you do? So guys, a quick update on an expansion of my building to show off my collections. Bye!